Welcome back to our lesson. Just like I said, we're going to look at the 1951 election in details. Now, first, let's look at the main political parties who took part in the election. The main political parties who took part of the election were the CPP and, of course, the United Gold Coast Convention, as against the Convention People's Party. The CPP was led by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, whilst the United Gold Coast Convention, the UGCC, um, was, left, it was led by J.B. Dankwa. Now let's look at the video of the 1951 general election, a very short video on that. <laughs> At Accra, as elsewhere in the Gold Coast, the people go to the polls to elect members for the Legislative Assembly, the first step in the new constitution which came into force with the new year. The 38 seats are open to the popular vote. The Governor and Lady Arden Clark arrive to inspect one of the ward polling booths. Results are expected to favour the Convention People's Party, whose leader, Kwame Nkrumah, is in Jamesport Prison for fostering an illegal strike. Chiefs filled a further 37 seats by voting in the Territorial Council of Chiefs. As here, voting was strictly secret. Candidates in country places canvassed under animal signs, and votes were made for the elephant candidate and so on. Convention party leaders watched the final count, and the result is victory for the CPP, whose leader has since been free. They've caused trouble in the past. Will power breed in them a sense of responsibility? Well, that was a short video on the election in 1951. Now let's look at some of the members who were elected on that day. Now you can see that with this, J.B. Dankwa was elected, who was the leader of the UGCC, of course. William Ufuriata, who was also a member of the, um, the Big Six, was also elected. Then Gerard Otto Awoma was also elected. These were only people in the UGCC who were elected on that day. All the rest were the CPP members, with one being an independent candidate, who is Bediako Poku. So at the end of the day, the final election results went this way. The Convention People's Party had 34 of the 38 total um, members who were elected on that day. And of course, the UGCC had only three members. Then uh, the independent candidate had one person elected. So that was the final election results on that day. We'll be back with the reasons why the CPP won massively. <laughs> 